Swedish home-style cooking with a sophisticated twist. That's Frederick Anders' passion. The chef uses all kinds of fresh herbs to put a special spin on traditional ingredients, like veal and asparagus. And to garnish desserts like rhubarb sorbet. Around 20 different herbs are used in his kitchen, including verbena, cress, and Thai lemon basil. The restaurant Proviant swears by fresh ingredients, and most products are delivered every morning. It's good. It tastes good. No, but there's nothing like a fresh herb or a really fresh salad, because you can feel, I mean, if it's newly picked or really fresh, then you can feel the, uh, would sound cliche to say that you can feel the sunlight, but then you can feel the green in it always. That's where you can really feel it when it still tastes chlorophyll, then it's fresh. Frederick sources many of his ingredients from the company Orto Novo. A 45 minute drive from Stockholm, they grow herbs and salads in huge greenhouses all year round. Here alone, there are seven different types of basil, but also red, and yellow chard. 200,000 plants leave the facility every week. And they're sent to restaurants across the whole of Sweden. When I began this in 88, we, um, in Sweden, more or less, there were only three uh, traditional fresh herbs, and that was um, the chives, the parsley, and the dill. And, um, what they have been interested in is, is more, more uh, you know, what is a little bit different, what is, what is special, and what can be, um, you know, what can add something to the ki kitchen, I think. So we have about 50 different varieties, and um, the more the special, more they are interesting to the chefs. Today, Frederick is making the most of this wide variety to update a traditional Swedish dish, fresh pike dumplings with beetroot. For the dumplings, we're using the ground, the ground pike. We're using a salt, using a little bit of the whipped cream, and also eggs. And for, with the dumplings, we're going to serve them with the red beets, fresh red beets, which we cook with a little bit of cumin, water, sugar, and salt. He mixes 600 grams of fresh pike together with a pinch of salt and 500 grams of cream in a food processor until the mixture is stiff. You have to be careful not to, not to mix it too long or not too slow because it's, it has to stick together. And if, it, if you mix it too long or if, you are, if you have, it's too warm or something like that, then it can split. Then the ground and the, the cream doesn't go together. Form the mixture into dumplings with a spoon and place them into water just below the boil. So then we cook them three minutes, turn them over so that you get them on the other side as well and another three, minute, three minutes on the other side. Frederick mixes the beetroot together with cumin seeds, salt, and a splash of vinegar. He tests with a sharp prong to see whether they're ready. And they are. We eat a lot of beets and root vegetables, so it's very, that's very traditional because that's what you can grow uh, not all year round, but you can grow it and you can keep it in storage for the winter because we have such cold climate. The pike dumplings with beetroot are served with a hollandaise sauce and fresh herbs. Red chard, dill, and watercress not only enhance the flavor, but they make the dish more appealing to the eye. <laughs> 